Guys, Joe Walters here. Uh, I'm actually answering a question which has been mentioned a few times by a few of my students in the past sort of five or six weeks. Um, and it all revolves around practice swings. Now, many of you guys out there, if you could hit your golf ball with your practice swing, would be absolutely delighted. Um, and this is where this video stems from. It's almost why a practice swing so good and then why is it not the same when you go and make your golf swing to hit your golf shot. And I think the biggest thing that we've got to think about is the words itself themselves, practice swings. When you make your practice swing, you are fully focused on the motion. There's no golf ball, there's no pressure, there's no outcome to think about. So because there's nothing there on the ground, you can make a movement. So if you have an instruction um, from your local pro, you can then try and recreate the feelings, the, the movements that you're being asked to create, and it feels a little bit easier. You might then look at yourself on video and think, club's in a great position, why can't I do that when the golf ball gets in the way? When we put the golf ball in the way, the brain is wired to react to get the muscles to react in a specific way, the way that it does when it wants to move the object. So we've got to find a way of transferring the practice swing feeling into the motion when we see the golf ball. Now, a couple of drills which I would use with some of my students. So the first thing we've got to try and do is almost take away the thought process that we need to hit the golf ball. The golf ball will be hit if we can make contact with a point on the ground. So I would get my guys to, we'll get a chalk line and just draw it on the ground there. And then I'm gonna put the golf ball a fraction behind it. So when you see this from the face on view here, you can see the golf ball's a fraction behind it. Now, we're gonna ignore the fact that the ball is there, make a couple of practice swings. Then when we address the golf ball, we're gonna try and get the leading edge of the club to hit the chalk line. If we hit the chalk line, then the golf ball will be up in the air and we don't even have to worry about it. So, make a few swings at the speed that you want the swing to be when the golf ball is in the way. See, loads of practice swings when the golf ball's there, just a bit, a bit like this. If you were away from your golf ball, you make a great practice swing, and then you've got this sort of rehearsal thing going on, which resembles nothing of what you're gonna do when you address the ball. So we need to make sure that it's exactly how we want it to be. So we can pick a spot on the ground, or you can even use a little bit of the extra line that we've got here, which I'm gonna use as my visual, and I'm just gonna make a practice swing and try and get the club to hit the chalk line. That's the feeling that I want to get. So now I'm going to step in and I'm going to address the ball and my thought process is to make the same feeling of move with the same outcome, just hit the chalk line. Perfect. Don't have to worry about the golf ball because if my club hits that point on the ground, the ball's already been compressed between the ground and the face and job's done. Now, you know, it's not always going to go dead straight. It might have some curves to the right, some curves to the left, and that's relative to where the club face is, how your strike is, and the path that the club's moving around on. But if we can get the feeling that we're hitting the ground rather than hitting the ball, you're going to get more of that feeling, the practice swing, when you're making your swing over the golf ball. Now, the second drill that I would use is almost a bit of a trust drill. Make some practice swings first with your eyes closed. Taking your setup, closing your eyes, making the swing and trusting the feeling of the movement that you're trying to create. Now, if you've got a couple of swing thoughts which you're using, keep those thoughts in mind, but just do it with your eyes closed. Again, as you do it, try and get the club to brush the ground as we go through, because we want to try and recreate as much as possible that same feeling. Then go ahead and address the ball, close your eyes, make the swing, see what happens. So, here we go, so I'm addressing the ball, now I'm going to close my eyes, I'm just going to make this swing, just make that same motion and just see what happens. So the strike was a little bit skinny, a little bit of a lot of the face, but it's 
move forward, I've tried to recreate that same movement. Now, the more you get used to that feeling, the more you transfer your practice swing onto the actual swing that produces the outcome of the golf shot. So if you want to feel your practice swing is doing more than just being a practice swing and not wishing that you could hit it with your practice swing, a couple of these drills will help you transfer from one to the other. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please post your comments in the box below. The more I hear from you guys, the more I can help you on other subjects as well. Uh, let me know if it's something that you've tried, any of the drills, if you've tried them, if you've had success with them, if you've struggled with the drills and what you find difficult about them if you have had a go as well. Catch me on social networks. The links are in the description below. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.